All right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm making some uh, black powder tiger tail stars. I'm using this star press that I bought off of woodiesrocks.com. Um, just a simple black powder uh, mixture is what I did for my tiger tails. The only thing I don't like about this new recipe that I'm trying out is that it's coming out a little bit too wet. As you can see, it's all over the press, the wood on the, on the press right here, because I'm trying, uh, instead of using dextrin, which I have a ton of, I'm using guar gum, um, which is supposed to help it thicken out, you know, to, I wanted to see if that would help the star get a little bit harder than normal dextrin. But the only thing is though, is I'm not too sure if it's absorbing too much water and causing it to, you know, stay like in this light, it's like almost like an airy type state. It's, it seems dry. If you can tell like it's fallen out like it's dry. But as soon as I press it, I start to notice that water starts coming out and it starts getting all over the place like this. Um, there's like a slight gumminess that's left over like a residue on my tools, which is kind of weird. I didn't, I never noticed that using dextrin. So I'll probably not use the war gum anymore only because I don't like the way it, it's coming out after I press the star. But yeah, I was just going to make a quick video on my new star press and, or my star plate rather, sorry. And um, just to kind of show how my pneumatic cylinder works. Like I said before in my other video, I pretty much bought this off YouTube. I'm sorry, uh, Amazon. And um, I went ahead and uh, put it together, bought all the necessary fittings. Everything's pieced together. They don't sell a kit or anything like that. I kind of just did a little bit of research to find what I needed. I uh, went ahead and bought some wood at the parts store or the the um, wood store and pretty much put it together based off of just, you know, an idea of thinking how a press should be. And I went ahead and uh, mounted the wood like that and it works out pretty good. So now what I do is I get, I grab this here, which is that residue I'm talking about. I don't like it. So what I do now is I went ahead and, uh, I put this into the mold, press down slightly just to kind of get it started. And I hold it up like this, place it into my press, and I'm gonna go ahead and press it, see I'm trying not to get in the way. As you can tell, with the uh, pneumatic press, it's putting enough pressure out to kind of knock all that water out. And it's firmly in place, it's not going anywhere. Uh, like I said, I never had this problem before with dextrin. Somehow guar gum isn't working out too well, so I'm not gonna be using that anymore. There's a ton of different recipes you can get online for uh, tiger tail stars. Sorry about that, that was my compressor. Um, I also have some colored stars. I have some colored star mix inside. Um, I've made a green star yesterday. It looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to probably press some of those just to kind of see how it comes out. As you can tell, more water's coming out and this, I don't like it. It's not that good. It's getting all over my tools, but um, the good thing is this is made out of aluminum, this, this tool. So put a little bit of water on it to, you know, kind of rinse out all that black powder. It won't really do anything. And now what I do is I kind of flip it over here. You can see how it's compressed. I slide these little, oh, I think I did it upside down again. Yeah, because it's gonna, yeah, because if I press it down, it's gonna make a, a big, well, anyways. Here I'm just going to scrape off a little bit of the top right here, nice and smooth and flat, and then press the star out, and I'm going to move it around a little bit and press them out, and there they are. Pretty much they'll just fall off in your hands. And there's the tool, and here's the finished product, little tiny tiger, tiger tar, uh, star uh, cylinders. They're pretty nice. Once they dry, they burn very slow with this. Um, mixed or this recipe I found online. 
Um, but I'm going to see how this guar gum works out because guar gum is usually used for like a thickening agent and like gravy and stuff. Um, but you can also use dextrin to make sure your tiger tail stars. Like I said, I'm just kind of testing things out here. Anyways, that was just a quick video of how my pneumatic press works. Cylinder, airlines, compressor, and then the little star plate. Anyways, thanks for watching and until the next video. Bye-bye.